Do you want to be able to afford the best players and open the best packs in FC24? Go to u7buy.com to buy your EAFC24 coins. It's more economic than buying FC points and just as reliable. They already offer some of the best prices out there, but you can get an additional 6% off using promo code ELI at checkout. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. We have an updated 5212 custom tactics to go over. Uh, I've been using this team on the cup. I think I need two more wins in the cup. Uh, packed a few blues. Um, Renard, Obadarf, uh, Bernardo Silva. Who else did I pack? And Trent. So I packed a few. Eh, they're okay. Uh, this defender is actually really, really good. Um, which one? This one right here. Renard's really good. And then Obadarf's pretty good as well. Uh, Bernardo Silva is same as his Thunderstruck card, honestly. Just with one more playstyle plus. But this is what you guys are here for, the 5-2-1-2. Now, when you guys do look at it on paper, um, you guys are going to see that I have a few things changed. But I, I let me go over with you guys what to actually change for your own play style. So first, let me go over what this formation is good playing up against, and then we'll go over the tactics, instructions, all that good stuff. So 5-2-1-2 is the entry level to go into a 3-5-2, which to me is probably top five formations in the game. Always has been, always will be, just because you have two CDMs instead of... Uh, center mids but 5212 is very good going up against uh, a 4231 which is very hard to go up against because this this formation is so good defensively it's probably my favorite formation this year I'm not gonna lie every time I'm struggling I go to it and I end up winning uh, so I really love that formation uh, is very good at going up against like a narrow formation like a 54212 narrow because you do have the flying fullbacks uh, 4312 it's good going up against this too because of the flying fullbacks and it's very good to go up against the 4-3-2-1 and 5-3-2 what else and 3-4-2-1 it's very good to go up against those formations any five at the back formations now it does struggle against formations like this like a 4 triple 2 or a 4-4-2 four, four, uh, just because those are uh, those are just so good at attacking it's very hard to break those down and then you have the like example with the four triple two, where is it? The four triple two, you have the two cams which kind of run into uh, the half spaces, so it's like your, it's like your four against three. So you have three center backs defending, and then they have four attackers, and it's very hard to defend against that. But anywho, let's get into the tactics. This is what you guys are here for. So balance, thirty-seven width on old gen, new gen forty. Leave it there. Thirty-seven old, forty new. Now. Um, you can do a manual press if you want to do on old gen. You can do 72 depth. It's up to you. If you have good enough center backs to kind of help you out with defending, then you can do the 72 depth. If not, if you feel like it's too aggressive, then on old gen, you're going to drop it to 57 depth or 60 either or somewhere around there in between. Now, if you do drop this down to anywhere around 57 to 60, then you are going to switch the direct passing on here. The only reason why I don't have direct passing when I'm playing a super high line like a 72 uh, is because then my strikers move out of position way too much and my opponents, a lot of them have been playing the in the higher divisions, division 1 and elite division, they've been playing the I don't know who came up with this by the way. They've been spamming auto offsides. So, or not auto offside, sorry. They've just been spam, spamming offside traps. So, because they are spamming offside trap, I play a high line. I took out direct passing and I just try to do quick one twos and do over the top through balls because I know that they're spamming offside trap. Hence, that's why I'm playing like this. But that is me. If you guys feel like you struggle with that too, then now you know how to solve it. But uh, those, whoever, whoever invented spamming offside trap is it's just stupid. It's just dumb. It, it takes away any attacking presence at all and it's just it's dumb but anywho that's old gen right um new gen 71 for that manual press uh it might leave you a little vulnerable just because you are playing with three center backs so if you are playing 71 depth um you can leave it like this too balance balance on on, on new gen you can't put direct passing if you like direct passing more if you can't do manual runs yourself uh you can do direct passing but if not balance balance is fine uh, but if you're on new gen and you don't like that high line, then just play 60 depth all the way up to 63. 63 is pushing it, but 60 to 63 and then put direct passing if you're not playing that manual press. For me, I'm going to leave it as is where I like it. 37.72, that's what I've been liking. 
uh, width 43, just a little bit more than normal. Last time I had it at 40, I just wanted to add a little bit extra width just because I haven't been playing Hug the Sideline as much, uh, only because people have been spamming those offside traps. So I try to keep my right mid and left mid, or my right back and left back, uh, more compact so I can do quick one twos with them and send them on over the top through balls and then, goes for, and then go for those cutbacks. Um, that is why. Players in the box six corners and free kicks. You can do whatever you want on those. Uh, I've been experimenting with two on corners to so try to do those front and back post headers, and sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. It just depends. Uh, formations: Who you want to play where? Uh, you got three center backs. I play Patrick Vieira as center back because he's really good at center back. As or he can be really good at CDM or center back, and I just like him as center back only because I do play with two center mids because it's a 5 2 one, 2 and they do get involved a lot on the attack so because I do want to have two better dribblers of the ball I play Patrick Vieira as my main center back um, now what I recommend is putting your best best center back at middle center back and then your faster center backs or wing backs or full backs whatever you want to call them um, you could put them to the side so example Joe Gomez I start him at right back and then I move him into center back in game so he plays as my right center back and I only he's not the best I just have him because he's pacey that's why but that's who I put there and Renard she's extremely good I'm actually tempting moving her to center center mid and putting Patrick Vieira as a left center back um, but Patrick Vieira is a little bit slow that's why I haven't done it but um, yeah Renard is extremely good but put your best center back right here in the middle and then two faster center backs slash full backs on next to them please make sure you have some ball playing center backs uh, people that are good with the ball that can kind of pass it either do long ball Long ball passes, short passes, whatever. A little bit good at dribbling because people do press you and they will press you when you see they're playing. Uh, they will press you when they see that you're playing with a five at the back. So just make sure they're good on the ball. Right back, left back. Uh, make sure you put actual full backs here. Or if you're going to put a winger, you can put a winger there. Just make sure that they're high, high work rates. So for me, I have Bernardo Silva on one side. He's not the best there, there, but he does have a high, high work rate. And I do use them for those uh, crosses for the... Travella crosses uh, into the back post for Henri or Mueller. That's why I have them there. Uh, Roberto Carlos, those power shots are insane. But make sure you have fast fullbacks, somebody that can attack, that can dribble, that can defend, all that good stuff. If you're going to put a winger here, that's fine. Make sure they have some defensive stats, though, because they will defend in a 5-2-1-2, and you need to make sure that they can defend at all times. Uh, two center mids. I play two box-to-box -box center mids, so I have Luka Modric and Oberdorf. Uh, Luka Modric is probably the best example of playing a center mid or a box to box center mid here. Uh, you can play Hullet, you can play Bellingham, you can play uh, Sawa. Sawa will be really good here. Bruno Fernandes uh, flashback will be really good here. And just play two center, center, two box to box center mids here. Your Cam, I put Sedan here. He's a five star, five star, so he's really good. He's kind of all over the place for me. Sometimes he's close, sometimes he's far. Sometimes he can do Travellas. He has that first touch, so I kind of can send him the um, a, a low driven pass straight to his feet, and he receives it really good, especially when we're under pressure. That's why I have him as a Cam. Plus, he's a five star, five star, so I can just kind of dribble my way out of pressure and then send it to one of my two strikers. So, two strikers, I have two fast, pacey strikers. Oh, actually, Henri is a little bit faster than Mueller, believe it or not. But Mueller just has um, like the headers and he has finesse shots and he's an icon. I just want to play icon in here. But you can play, you can mix and match. You can put one fast, pacey striker and one more agile striker here. It's kind of up to you, however, your play style is with strikers. Or you could do two women up here that are quick that can dribble whatever this means that can kind of swift between everybody and just score some goals so up to you on that uh instructions goalie comes for cross sweeper keeper because of that whip cross meta uh through all three center backs stay back while attacking that is it right back balance overlap left back balance overlap now you can make this more attacking and put join the attack but i recommend starting off with balance attack uh, just that way they don't run away from you too too much because if if you put them on balance if you put them on join the attack then they actually act like wing backs like actual bombing wing backs and i don't want them to bomb forward all the time so i have them on balance so they can they can kind of show some support whenever i'm trying to build up from the back but that is how i like to play if you like to play like zero to 100 like quick counter attacks then you can switch this to join the attack uh, both center mids are going to be stay back while attacking and stay on the edge of the box cover center on both of them. Uh, stay back so they don't go too forward. They will go forward regardless because you are playing a high line or if you're playing direct passing. Stay on the edge of the box for those travellas and so they can recycle the play. Not lose the ball, steal the ball, start over, you know, all that good stuff. And cover center so they stay right in the middle. 
cam i have him basic everything and get into boxer cross basic because i had him on i had him on stay forward and he was just too far ahead for me especially when people are playing those offside traps right now so i have him um just on default so he kind of stays right in the middle of everybody so he's like the connector of everything the number 10 the magician so he kind of the playmaker i should say he gets the ball to his feet and he kind of look and see where he's going to pass it to or if there's green space then you kind of run into that grass um get into boss for cross for those cutbacks because when in doubt a cutback will get you out but also when your strikers do move away he will fill in the position of the striker and score some goals so make sure you have a lethal cam right there and then your two strikers are both stay central get in behind so they're going to be taking turns on who bounces forward who goes where at all times so just keep an eye on that they're just going to be running uh sometimes they're going to run wide sometimes they're going to run short even though they're on the stay central instruction but that way they're both attacking ais won't go like this they'll kind of go like this or sometimes they'll go like this they'll go parallel to each other but they'll never cross so just keep that in mind but yeah those are the custom tactics and instructions for the 5212. Let me know down below what other tactics to post. I am going to be posting more of my tactics. I've been having a super long week. So I'll probably be posting like two a day because I've been working on some. I just haven't had time to sit down and record. And I've been trying to grind out these packs to pack some blues so I can show you guys. So this is like a, a better version of my team. Even though I like my Arsenal team more, I'm not going to lie. It's a little bit more passion when I got got good ranking and foot chance with them and then i'm gonna be posting a uh video on a huge pack opening in the next day or two where i open like 150 packs and that's why i pack some of these blues but yep i'll catch you guys on the next one peace